Hello Capricorn, this is going to be a love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn, whether it's Western, Sidereal, or Vedic Astrology. If it resonates for you, it is for you. Please keep in mind that this is for Capricorn, so if you're cross-watching, you'll need to reverse the energies. We don't need to hear that it's Capricorn. We don't need to hear about your issues with Capricorns. It's kind of rude, actually, so try not to do that. If you're a cross-watcher, just let us know you're here. What's up, cross-watcher? Um, what's up Capricorn? So I was on my way to the post office because I was going to um, send out these sprays to uh, a client, but <clears throat> I was like, I got to get Capricorn's reading done. If I don't get Capricorn's reading done, they're going to be on my ass and I'm not trying to hear about it right now. I ain't messing with these sea goats. Let me get their reading done. Okay, so I am going to do that now. Um, I want to say if you want to check out my Patreon, there are sex readings on my Patreon. I've done one for you, Capricorn. There's a pretty lengthy reading on there done for you all. Um, I'm going to upload twice a month for Capricorn on my Patreon. I'm also going to be doing uh, sex-based pick a cards and general collective sex readings on my pick a card. I mean, on my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, it's in the link just um, below. Okay. <clears throat> So your person's thoughts about you is the five of swords. Who are y'all beefing with Capricorn? Oh my God. So this person's thought is the five of swords. So uh, this person feels like you don't want to be bothered with them right now or they don't want to be bothered with you. It looks like some beef between y'all for real. The death card. Jeez. Okay. So some of y'all are dealing with a Scorpio. Whoever y'all are dealing with, this person may feel like things are over with between y'all. So for those of y'all who are maybe going through something with your person right now this is what they're feeling right right now while i'm doing this reading is that you guys have argued so bad or you guys have gotten some sort of conflict or you guys have reached some point where you guys can't move forward together so like they're feeling the death energy we'll see what else plays out but that's what they're feeling okay <clears throat> so let's see what else comes out for capricorn we have the seven of swords <clears throat> so someone was being deceptive here so maybe you ended things with this person because they were being deceptive with you. And um, <clears throat> some of you, this could be definitely a Scorpio. There was some deception here. And I feel like things ended and this person is acting as if they don't care, maybe, if you walked away from them. Yeah, fool card. You could have walked away from an Aries or an Aquarius. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? <clears throat> Why is the death card here? The nine of swords. Okay, but it bothers them. I knew it. See, they was trying to act, but I knew they was losing sleep about this. So if you have walked away from someone right now, if there's like a little bit of silence, this is for people who I feel um, have had some sort of disagreement with your partner. And it, look, it looked like it got bad with this five of swords. Or, you know, someone was playing mind games, therefore the other one walked away. If there's like a deafening silence between you and your partner this week, they definitely feel it. Okay, they're up at night. As much as they're trying to act like it doesn't bother them, I feel like they... They are definitely bothered by the ending or the separation. Why is the five of swords here, though? Let's talk about that. <clears throat> Why is the five of swords here, spirit? Why is the five of swords here? Clarify the five of swords. The hermit. A lot of thinking about you. Thinking about you, but not telling you. So you guys are... So I feel like... Mm, mm, this feel like a little bit of pettiness. I was going to say it, but I wasn't going to say it, but I got to say it. It feels like either this person is being petty. Y'all both might be might be being petty. They, I'm, look, I mean, y'all know how I am. I don't know how to be any other way. So don't get mad at me. But either this person's being because a hermit and five of swords, it's like, I'm trying to act like I, it doesn't bother me. I'm trying to act like I don't miss you. I'm trying to act like I don't, I'm not checking up on you, but I am, especially if it's a Virgo. Okay, um, let's see what the Seven of Swords was. See the Five of Cups. Somebody is out here drinking. It's a Scorpio. Somebody's a, a Scorpio. I'm more than just an option. Yeah, see, that's why I've probably been hearing that damn song in my head all day. It was for y'all, Capricorn. I've been hearing that song all week in my head, actually. Why is the Seven of Swords? Nine of Cups. Somebody was out here being selfish as hell. Ooh, somebody was being selfish. Okay, what's this Nine of Cups here? The two of wands. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So someone was being selfish by holding on to two people. Most likely. Keeping two people. Texting two people. When they really wanted one person. They really do want one person. But for some reason, they were staying in this two of wands interview. What's this two of wands here about? They were... They... they okay. Because I'm getting that this person wants to be with you. But they was... Yep. Money. Okay. So they were thinking about their money or their possible... Their legacy. Okay. So... Hmm. 
Nine of Swords and Death card. This person feels like it's over because you said it was over. They're acting as if they're okay with it being over, but they're not. They're actually thinking about you a lot, night and day. Hermit during the day and Nine of Swords, they're thinking about you. They were holding on to two people, possibly because of money. And I feel like this is from a selfish standpoint. I don't feel like they, I feel like this person would have been fine if they broke it off with this other party or wherever it is that they're did, diddly dallying in with the Seven of Swords. I feel like it was somebody else with this Two of Wands. And they're saying it's about money, but it's also some selfish selfishness involved in this. What's the selfishness here? What is the self? I mean, it could be that this third party takes care of them financially. So that's why they're staying with the third party, even though they don't really want to be with the third party. Show me what's up with this third party energy or whatever this Seven of Swords stuff is. It's like very, it's like somebody you got Jupiter in retrograde, very selfish person. Money, Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. They care about their money and their freedom. They feel like if they get with you, some of you, this person's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Damn, Leo. Okay, we're going we gonna to put that on uh, Sagittarius and Aries. We, okay, anyway. <clears throat> so some of y'all, this person felt like you were stable, okay? You are somebody that they would have to commit to, the Queen of Pentacles. You ain't playing no games. You got your shit together. If you got children, you got little bunnies, they in order, okay? You got your little bunnies in order. Some of y'all might have two children, something like that. Um, I feel like you guys have yourself in order and this person wants to be the knight of wands. Okay. And they also, um, maybe what we call this in tarot, the golden cage where someone is in being taken care of by a third, by this third party. I'm definitely feeling like a man who likes to get taken care of by women and they know they ain't getting taken care of by your ass. They going to have to put in work and effort and you guys can work together, but you ain't going to be sitting there taking care of their ass. So this third party will do that though. This third party will definitely do that. Okay, and this third party allows them to have freedom and do what they want to do and don't really question anything because this third party, in my opinion, has self low self worth. Um, this third party has a high uh, position or has money of some sort. They're they're I don't want to say they're too good. They kind of are. This person could be in a be much better situation with someone who took who takes better care of them. But they get their freedom out of this. And this this third party gets to say that they have this sexy, attractive person, your person, right? Because your person is this Knight of Wands and this Knight of Pentacles. Very attractive, very fast moving, very chauvinistic, debonair, um, you know, attractive. Even if it's a woman, this person gets people, okay? Um, and this third party gets self-esteem boost by having your person, and you looking at your person like, boy, please, or girl, please. You know, if you come over here, you better come over here with some king energy. Don't be bringing that night shit over here. So that's why this person feels like they are, they, they're self-sabotaging. They're self-sabotaging. Because what you're asking from them, Capricorn, is actually not uh, for their, their, their worse. It's not, you're not asking this person to do anything that's going to hurt them. If anything, you're asking this person to grow the hell up. Me more about this Knight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles and actually not be a selfish person and care more about their impact on the world. Yep. You're asking this person to be the King of Cups. Okay. To be emotionally stable, to be um, centered, grounded, maybe even a better father if they already have other children. Because I know a lot of Capricorns, whether they're women or men, they're not dealing with somebody who's not a good father or parent. So this person may be a good father, but they could be better. A good mother, but they could be better. Because this Knight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles energy, you ain't stable with this, bro. You do too much coming and going. This is like, hmm. for those of you who hit, this is like dope boy energy, dope girl energy. You making some you making some moves and some jugs and plugs, but we ain't going to get too, too. I've been getting a little out of myself lately. Sagittarius had me really cutting up, but I'm going to be a little bit more professional with my Capricorns because y'all don't play games. Y'all be y'all be wanting me professional. Nah, y'all love when I joke around, honestly. But yeah, so this person is acting like they don't care. They just want to be a thought. They want to they want to be able to be a thought. They're hoping that, well, I'm going to leave this three of wands since they didn't want to go back in the day. They're hoping that you hit them up and you cave and you give up your standards and what you expect from them. Don't do that shit. Hell no. All right. So let's see, what's the sex looking like between these two? What's it looking like? We have the lovers in reverse. So honestly, they already been wanting to commit to you. They've already been wanting to commit to you. Some of you, they, there's a Gemini involved, but the sex, when they, when this person has sex with you, whether it be for the first time, the 11,000th millionth time, whatever, the sex between you two makes this person want to commit. They don't want to be a hoe anymore. So I feel like this person avoids you. Because they know that you will make them commit and they won't have this childish ass, what they think is freedom. But this comes at a price. 
Because this third party, whenever this third party yanks the chain, your person got to yield. They can't be so free because this person controls them through finances. That's why we call it a golden cage. Yeah, it's nice on the, it looks pretty, but you caged, bro. So the three of pentacles is the current energy. I feel like you've released this person, Capricorn. You may have found some business elsewhere with this three of pentacles. I still feel like you and this person are connected. Um, I don't necessarily feel like this is over. It kind of feels like it is for right now, but I don't know. We'll have to look in the extended. But I think right now this person is doing what they want to do and you are focused either on work or you're dating others or talking to others for right now. That's what I'm seeing. So that's just what I'm seeing for this. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, i keep shuffling a little bit. All right, so this is going to be for your extended. Woo. I got two cards. Okay, two cards wanted to jump. So you guys got two cards for your extended. Oh, um, you guys got the punishment. Punishment came out. Did punishment come out your reading? I don't know. The punishment came out. Um, some of you are done with a Pisces. Yep, King of Cups again. Some of you are done definitely done with a water sign or a Leo. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag coming up very, real strong. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're gonna look at your next sexual encounter in the extended to see if it's with this person. Some of y'all are entertaining other people, so we'll see if it's with someone new. No shame in that, because this person ain't trying to act right. And we'll also see what this person's next actions are towards you. And we're also going to be looking at May in the extended. So if you are interested to see what's going to happen for this connection in May, please check out the extended. Um, also, sex readings, more of these sex readings. We use the big cards, the big sex cards over there on Patreon. So if you're interested in that, go check out my Patreon. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you over there, Capricorn. Peace.